What is going on you guys? It's KOFan93 back here with another video. And today we're finally going to get down to some reviews. I've been saying it for a long time. We're going to get reviews. And today we're going to cram a lot of reviews into this one video. So yeah, it's going to be a big one. Now, you guys have seen me unbox these pretty frequently over the last course of like six months to a year. And uh, needless to say, they're definitely one of the crown jewels of my collection as a whole. So sit back, Relax and enjoy the video as we take a look at these. My entire collection of Ultra Slash Deluxe Fig Zinc WWE Replica Belts. Let's get started. All right, first and foremost, we are going to go over the Undisputed Version 2 Deluxe Replica. This is a limited number of 500, and yes, I am wearing uh, latex gloves because, I mean, these deluxes and ultra deluxes are super rare. So I'm going to do anything and everything in my power to make sure that I don't smudge them up. Because I don't want to mess my belts up. But anyway, let's get into the Undisputed Version 2 Deluxe. So I'll go ahead and flip it up here and show you that it is a 2mm plate. This is not a 4mm Deluxe, we're only 2 uh, it's a real leather strap. It's just a leather outer shell. It still has all the filler inside, but we'll go ahead and start over here on the left side of the belt. Got your standard 2x8 uh, male snap set here, the smooth snap box. Uh, regular replicas have that textured fake leather, simulated leather, whatever you want to call it. Uh, got your side plates here, the WWE logo, and then the McMahon family crest and this is the, the version two is the one that has the black border around the plates. Uh, it's also the absolutely huge one. Uh, we've got a Fig Zinc Chris Jericho nameplate on there. Big thanks to my buddy Jamie for that. Uh, the main plate, absolutely huge. Uh, it's almost a foot, I believe. It's almost 12 inches. Um, for those of you that are on the metric system, sorry, can't do conversion in my head. I'm from Oklahoma. Deal with it. Massive main plate here. As you see, this thing is absolutely freaking huge all right going into the right side plates we've got the McMahon family crest again the WWE logo again and then we have the sixth plate the property of the world wrestling entertainment always thought that was a funny typo I know the original said property of the world wrestling federation but nevertheless uh, that's hilarious so monstrous curve put in this thing I'll go ahead and show you guys the back Kind of got some mismatched colored screws. We get gold, 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 and then all black. But a smooth back, no texture. Uh, it's in pretty good condition overall. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. This was the first deluxe that I got. And super stoked to have this in my collection. I still got the sticker on the patch. This one being made in 2006. And that is the Undisputed Version 2 Deluxe Replica. All right, next up is the Ruthless Aggression SmackDown Tag Team Deluxe Replica. Uh, once again, this is a two millimeter deluxe replica. I have not curved this yet. Need to get on that, uh, maybe sometime soon. But this is an absolutely awesome belt right here. It's a very, very rare one with the COA, just like the Undisputed. Uh, we're gonna start down here once again. The male snap set is a two by five. Do not get this confused with your 2x8 that is available on WWE Shop. We've once again got the smooth, uh, non-textured snap box right there. The first side plate here on the left side, the blue background with the black WWE scratch logo, World Wrestling Entertainment. Then we go in here to the innermost side plate with the black scratch logo once again with the blue background keep in mind on the current WW shop version that logo will be white as well as that one and that one and that one and so on and so forth a couple of grapplers with a sunburst pattern behind it yeah you guys know that <laughs> coming into the main plate you see we've got this gorgeous fig zinc chavo guerrero nameplate once again shout out to my buddy jamie thank you so much for that nameplate uh, this thing pays so much homage to the uh, Attitude Era tag team title as well as the classic Reggie tag. I've always loved this overall design, but this one's got the huge blue globe. The blue letters really, really pop here. I'm a huge fan of this build. Black scratch logo up top. 
eagle, crowns, floral, and then this nice, I don't know if you want to call it olive branch or whatever border, but friggin' awesome. I love this thing. Once again, right side plates just mirrored from the other side. Except that, that's obviously not mirrored. And then we are going into the female snap set. Once again, at a 2x5 with a smooth snap box. Now we'll flip it over. Once again, smooth backing right there. Amazing condition. Sticker intact. And this was made by Figs Inc. in 2003. So, original. As a matter of fact, it's the very first one, but I'm still going to keep this covered up. But yeah, there it is. The SmackDown Tag Team Title. And now coming in at number three, this is one of my favorite belts. I got this off my good buddy Rob Staniloff, co-founder of Belt Addicts Anonymous. My boy, you guys have heard me talk about him. Rob's an awesome dude. So big thanks to Rob for this belt. Uh, really, really glad I had the money when he put this up for sale. But yeah, let's get into it. This is the United States Championship version one. Got your male snap set here with the smooth snap box. That's just going to be repeated pretty much every time, but this one is a 2x8. Looks really, really long compared to the uh, last one that we looked at. Coming into your side plate, Statue of Liberty with no painted background. And then your eagle and shield with the WWE logo. This amazing main plate, everybody loves this, uh, represents the United States just so well. This screams United States Championship, literally. Uh, Big logo up top, huge flag. It says exactly what it is right there. Absolutely awesome. Two millimeter plate, uncurved. Need to get on that one as well. Coming into the right side plates, just mirrored from the opposite side, the eagle and shield with the logo, Statue of Liberty. And then we have this very, very unique property of World Wrestling Entertainment six plate right here. This belt was the only one to feature this style. And then we go into the female snap set here at another 2x5 with the smooth, you know the drill. Now we're going to get into the back here. Uh, these were signed. I'm not sure if Rob had these signed or if they came signed or how it was, but we've got Brett the Hitman Hart and Dolph Ziggler. Two very, very awesome United States champions that both held this very, very exact same title design. Stumbling over my words, sorry. Smooth background here, you guys. Wow, this one actually feels a lot better than the other ones. But uh, sticker intact once again. This one made in 2005 according to the patch. And that is the United States Championship version one deluxe. All right, you guys, number four on the line. This one is a big one. Literally, it is the WWE big logo. This was technically known as the version two World Heavyweight Championship. It was advertised with curved plates and all this other stuff. But uh, this is the ultra deluxe version, so it is a four millimeter plate. Yeah, that's right, not two, four millimeter. As you see there, very, very, very thick plates. This is one of the heaviest belts I've ever owned next to the Andre. Uh, we do have a couple plating issues here, so just try to look past these, but that's one of the reasons why we are wearing gloves handling these rare belts. So seriously, take care of your belts, folks. Uh, this thing came secondhand from another good buddy of mine by the name of Jeff Levine. You guys have heard me talk about him on the channel too. Big thanks to Jeff for this one. Of course, he had the COA, had to jump on it, but start at one end and keep going. So we've got this, once again, two by eight male snap set here with the smooth stitch on snap box. Side plate number one, you guys know the big gold, the grapplers, the floral pattern, the rubies on each corner rubies into the main plate everybody knows the main plate of this build uh, we've got the WWE logo up top floral pattern all over the freaking place here just everywhere big old name plate right there to let you know who the champion is globe crown world heavyweight wrestling champion very self-explanatory beautiful beautiful built and if I'm not mistaken I think this one was restoned it's very very shiny but go into the right side plate, just a mirrored version of what's over here. Into the female snap set, which is a stitched on smooth textured two by five. And now we'll go ahead and flip it over, show you the back. Nice, smooth, smooth back, sticker intact, 
made in 2009. I also want to shout out that I did get this strap from Jocelyn over at Healing Hero Belts, so shout out to Jocelyn for that one. But yep, that is the Ultra Deluxe WWE Big Gold. All right, you guys, last but most certainly not least, we've got a very, very special deluxe replica belt right here from Figs Inc. Had to show off the bag. If I'm not mistaken, this is my only actual deluxe belt bag. Uh, this is the original from 2003 with the WrestleMania 20 insignia right there. It's a little worn, but I mean, hell, it's 19 years old. But anyway, yeah, it is the classic WWF Intercontinental Championship. Note the WWF logo. Uh, got the COA, of course. This is one of the first ones that was made. It's in the first batch. All right, we're going to go ahead and start over here again. We've got this smooth, non-textured, stitched on 2x8 male snaps once again. Uh, outermost side plate here, WWF logo up top with some grapplers. Same thing on the innermost, just a little bit bigger side plate and your grapplers are in a different hold. The main plate where all the action's happening, we've got that nice big blue globe right there in the center. WWF logo up top to let you know exactly who this belongs to. Intercontinental Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, Starburst, Floral Pattern, absolutely beautiful design. It's a timeless classic and everybody that I know loves it. I mean, how can you not love this? Going into the side plates over here, we've got the exact same thing. WWF logo and grapplers. WWF logo and grapplers. And then we have the WWF Intercontinental. See right here, we've got the smooth, non-textured backing, sticker intact. And where is it? Boom, right there, 2003. It is an OG. This is an original. Absolutely beautiful. And I love that I have the COA with all my deluxe belts, especially this one because it's so freaking rare. And it's one of the first ones that was made. Anyway, you guys, that is going to do it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. Drop a comment if you feel the need to do so. Subscribe for more just like this. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Click that bell because you know you want them and I know you want them. And uh, that's going to do it for this. I'm KLFan93 and I'll see you next time.